Before we go any further, I had a request on how to display a progress indicator when switching between pages. If I open DevTools, go to the Network tab, and limit the internet speed to a slow 3G network, and then navigate between pages, there is no indication whatsoever that the page is loading. We need a progress indicator. There is already an example on the inertia docs, but before we go ahead and follow it, please make sure you have the latest versions of inertia library and view adapter installed. Currently we are at 0.6.2 for the inertia library and 0.4.2 for the inertia view adapter. Please make sure you have this up to date, because otherwise the progress indicator won't work. Let's follow the example and see how it goes. So let's go back and inside the docs look for progress. Progress indicators here. So we need to pull up this library. And then initialize it in our app. So we'll grab this, go to app.js, paste it in. And it should work. We have a couple of customization options, but we'll take a look at that later. Let's refresh. And move down to slow 3G. Go to a different page. And here it is, the progress indicator loading. And that's it. If we take a look to the customization options, we have the delay. This is how much uh, to wait, how much the browser should wait in milliseconds before displaying the indicator. We have the color, whether to include CSS. If you want to customize it, you need to set this to false and add your own styles for the MP progress classes. And we also have an option to show a spinner. Let's see how this looks. And true. Go back, move to online so we can refresh the page faster. And then slow. And here is our spinner. That's nice. And that's how you can set up a progress indicator. Pretty quick and easy, I think. Now for the task in hand. Changing a button style and label on hover. So let me bring this to online again. We have these two lists, one for the followers and one for the following. And they both have this custom button component that displays the follow or following text based on whether the currently authenticated user is following or not that account. But if we take a look at the way Twitter does it, we can see that when hovering the following button, its background changes to red and the text changes to unfollow. This is way better because the action becomes more precise. By clicking this button, you will unfollow the account. Let's try and do the same thing to our app. I'm going to open the following button component. And the easiest way to change the background is by using this hover class. So I'm going to set this to red, 600. And let's also add the transition. If I go here and refresh over the button, it's now red on for hover. Well, this was easy. Let's see how we can change the label. The easiest way to do it is by leveraging the mouse over and mouse leave events. We can use these two events to toggle a boolean property that we'll then use to display the following or the unfollowed label. So we'll have something like show unfollow. And we'll have unfollow. Otherwise, following. And this will be set to true when the mouse is over. And false when it's leaving. And of course, we need to find it here in our data.
let's give it a go and hover on follow following it's a bit janky let's set the fix width for the button to avoid that refresh and here it is that's how you can change a button style and label on hover youtube doesn't have a follow button but it does have a subscribe button make sure you click it so you can see more of my screencasts bye